Professor James Blith M.A., LL.D., F.R.S.E. F.R.S.S.A. The 4th of April 1839 to the 15th of May 1906 was a Scottish electrical engineer and academic at Anderson's College, now the University of Strathclyde, in Glasgow. He was a pioneer in the field of electricity generation through wind power and his wind turbine, which was used to light his holiday home in Marykirk, was the world's first known structure by which electricity was generated from wind power. Blith patented his design and later developed an improved model which served as an emergency power source at Montrose Lunatic Asylum, infirmary and dispensary for the next 30 years. Although Blith received recognition for his contributions to science, electricity generation by wind power was considered uneconomical and no more wind turbines were built in the United Kingdom until 1951, some 64 years after Blith built his first prototype. Topic: Early life. James Blith was born in Marykirk, Concardineshire, on 4 April 1839 to John Blith, an innkeeper and small farmer, and his wife Catherine. He attended the Marykirk Parish School and later, the Montrose Academy before winning a scholarship to the General Assembly Normal School, Edinburgh in 1886. After graduating as a Bachelor of Arts from the University of Edinburgh in 1861, Blith taught mathematics at Morrison's Academy in Creef and established the technical and scientific curriculum for the newly established George Watson's College in Edinburgh. Blith completed his Master of Arts in 1871 and in the same year married Jessie Wilhelmina Taylor at the United Presbyterian Church in Athol Place, Edinburgh. They had two sons and five daughters, two of whom died in infancy. Topic. Career In 1880 Blith was appointed Freeland Professor of Natural Philosophy at Anderson's College, Glasgow, which became the Glasgow and West of Scotland Technical College in 1886. Whilst teaching at the Technical College he pursued an active research program with a particular interest in the generation and storage of electricity from wind power. Blith was liked by his students and colleagues who admired his hard-working nature, down-to-earth attitude and willingness to roll up his sleeves. He was also well known in the local community through a series of popular lectures and demonstrations. In July 1887, Blith built a cloth sailed wind turbine or windmill in the garden of his holiday cottage in Marykirk and used the electricity it produced to charge accumulators. The stored electricity was used to power the lights in his cottage, which thus became the first house in the world to be powered by wind-generated electricity. In a paper delivered to the Philosophical Society of Glasgow on 2 May 1888, Blith described the wind turbine as being of a tripod design, with a 33-foot windshaft, four arms of 13 feet with canvas sails, and a Bergen dynamo driven from the flywheel using a rope. The turbine produced enough power to light 10 25-volt bulbs in a moderate breeze, and could even be used to power a small lathe. Over the next few years Blith experimented with a number of different designs. The final design operated for the next 25 years and produced surplus electricity which Blith offered to the people of Marykirk to light the main street of the town. But his offer was rejected, as the people thought electricity was the work of the devil. Blith was awarded a UK patent for his wind engine. In November 1891. In 1895, he licensed the Glasgow Engineering Company, Maver and Colson, 
to build a second, improved turbine, which was used to supply emergency power to the lunatic asylum, infirmary and dispensary of Montrose. The system operated successfully for the next 30 years. Blith's original wind generator was the first known structure by which electricity was generated from wind power, but its lack of a braking mechanism meant it was prone to damage in strong winds. In the winter of 1887, some months after Blith's first wind generator was built, American, Charles F. Brush built the first automatically operated wind turbine. The design of Brush's machine allowed it to be shut down manually to protect it from wind damage. The improved design of the turbine built for the Montrose Lunatic Asylum which was based on Thomas Robinson's anemometer design went some way towards solving this problem but it could not be guaranteed to stall in very strong winds. In 1891 Blith presented a paper to the Royal Society of Edinburgh espousing his belief in the benefits of renewable energy sources, particularly wind but also wave energy. Later that year he was awarded the Brisbane Gold Medal by the Royal Scottish Society of Arts for his work in producing electrical energy from wind, but his wind turbine was not considered to be economically viable. Blith's other research interests included the relative efficiency of different forms of lighting, telephone communication, and microphones. He also contributed entries on a number of topics for the ninth edition of the Encyclopaedia Britannica. Topic. Later life and death Blith's son, Vincent James 1874 and his son-in-law, George Edwin Allen 1870 both became demonstrators, assistants and lecturers in the Department of Natural Philosophy. Blith himself was awarded an honorary doctorate by the University of Glasgow in 1900. He died from apoplexy at his home in Glasgow on 15 May 1906. His friend Dr. James Colville remembered him as a true man of science. One who by insight, patient toil, and mechanical ingenuity did much in his day to explain and illustrate many of the facts of physical science. Topic. Legacy The Professor James Blith Memorial Committee, composed of Blith's former students and associates, was established in March 1907 to raise funds for a memorial to him. The memorial eventually took the form of endowing the Blith Memorial Prizes, and erecting a wall plaque in the college. The turbine at Montrose Asylum was dismantled in 1914. Britain's first public utility wind turbine did not come into operation until 1951, when a prototype turbine built by John Brown Engineering of Glasgow was installed at Costa Head, Orkney. Topic: Publications. Blith, James on the application of wind power to the generation and storage of electricity, paper read before the Philosophical Society of Glasgow, 2 May 1888. Blith, James on the application of wind power to the production of electric currents, Transactions of the Royal Scottish Society of Arts, Vol. 13, 1894, pp. 170-181. Paper read before the Society on 25 January 1892. See also History of wind power Wind power in Scotland Wind turbine